Hello friends and welcome to another video of Travel Tech. Now as you're seeing on the screen right now, the Digipad has gotten a new look, a fresh set of clothes for it to wear. Now you might not have seen a Digipad looking and working like this and this has been made possible by a new app which I could download to the Digipad and make its appearance look just like the way you are looking on the screen right now. And that appearance comes because of a special app about which I am going to explain to you in detail how to download and install it on your Digipad and give it a new makeover, an entire new look for the same old Digipad and you might feel fresh once you install it and give it up a very good appearance. So this actually is a launcher app which gives the Digipad a retro feel and Android uh, smartphone feel which was uh, which we used in our uh, olden times the Android gingerbread smartphones. Now this launcher gives it a regular smartphone feel and as you're seeing on the screen right now it has got scrollable windows just like the one and there is an app drawer specially and this is the app drawer and you can draw the apps whichever you have in your digipad on the screen so once you do this and the next feature is the phone call button right here so as available in our regular smartphones there is a phone call button there is a contacts button as well and when you go ahead there is an uh, SMS button of course but there is no SMS option in this and there is a browser button at the end which accesses the default browser of the digipad. So you have your date and time settings and the weather settings just like it used to appear in our smartphones in our older smartphones and you can arrange and remove icons wherever you want and you can place them just like how you use it and this uh, actually converts the digipad into a tablet kind of a deal a tablet kind of a look so if you have a seven inch tablet of android this is how basically it is going to look and this uh, launcher makes it happen just the way like that so there is a grid up here so you can rearrange the icons wherever you want and there are a lot of customization options uh, just like you would expect with any android smartphone or with any android uh, uh, operating system there are a lot of customization options you can increase the size of these icons you can decrease the size you can change the font of these icons and uh, give a very fresh and a very personalized appeal to the digipad now you can make all that happen as well on your digipad so there is there are many more options which i haven't explored yet but uh, this is one of the basic features which i'm showing you so once you install this on your digipad you can go ahead and try exploring some of the features of this uh, launcher of this app for the digipad and of course there is a es file manager which i have already installed in the digipad that is get that can be accessed via the home screen so that it, there is an icon directly on the home screen for the digipad so once you access that you get this appearance and uh, this looks very nice and very beautiful and uh, as you're seeing on the screen right now it gives a very fresh appeal to the digipad a new look to the digipad and not the one which you are used to seeing every day with the black background and the blue icons large icons this gives a very fresh appeal and a new appeal to the digipad so let me just go ahead and show you some of the more features of this launcher of this app and one of the most useful features of this app so once you go ahead into the apps drawer section so this is the app drawer button right here so once you go ahead and click on that you can open up the apps which are all installed in the digipad and you can yeah, uninstall the apps directly from the app drawer so for example there is an aquarium app right here i, I think you can see that uh, now so the first app is the aquarium app and if i want to uninstall it i just have to press and hold it so there is an uh, two options popping up on the top of the window that is the app info and the hide button so if i just drag the app into the app info button it opens up a new uninstallation window the one you, which we are used to seeing in the older versions of the android and there is an uninstall button right here so if i click on the uninstall button right there so i can easily uninstall the apps which i have installed on my digipad so this is one uh, usefulness feature of the app drawer of this app of this uh, launcher so that is one of the things and the next thing which i want to show you is there is a display checker so in order to find out if there are any faults in the display of the digipad and if all the points of the digipad screen are displaying the colors properly you can select on the display checker and once you click on that it displays the various different colors so that you can find out if the display of your digipad is working fine and there are no issues with that so once you make sure that you can press the back button and it goes away and there is a dedicated email button as well so you can actually configure an email address for your digipad and it will show up all the emails which you are getting if you are interested in that 
that kind of stuff so that is one advantage and uh, the next most important thing which i wanted to show you regarding this uh, app or this launcher is the gps test now you won't find this anywhere else and the uh, digipad never had this but inside this launcher inside this app if you install this gps test app it is going to show you an array of information regarding the gps of this device so let me just go ahead and click on this gps test button so this is the GPS test by Chartcross. So it opens up a dedicated app in order to assess and inform you a detailed information about the GPS location and everything about in detail about the GPS part of the digipad. Now as you are seeing on the right now it's showing on top it is a GPS status is on and the accuracy is about 5 feet. So GPS accuracy shows more or less about 5 feet accuracy and these are the GPS signal strength which is showing and the green color bar is the uh, shows that the GPS is pretty accurate and the yellow is medium and red it, as it suppose that is given in the table here red is 0 orange is 10 yellow is 20 and above green it is 40 signal strength so this is the signal strength it is showing and showing how accurately the GPS is catching on onto your digipad and here if you click on the top of the button you, you can see the number of satellites which are connected uh, based on your car reference so this center point is your car and the round dots which are seeing are the satellites various in the sky which are connected to the GPS on the digipad so this is one feature of that and uh, the second button is the world map button so this shows your exact location on the world map and the location of the sun uh, at that time of the point and also it shows you the exact latitude and longitude of where your car is standing right now so it shows the daytime and nighttime of the global scale your location the sun's location and the latitude and longitude of the uh, exact location of where your car is standing and this zero is nothing but the speed of the car so if you want to check the speed of the car and while you're driving this speed will increase according to the speed of the gps and if you click on that there is a a wide window which will show you the speed of the car and of course it's showing also the altitude or the feet at which your car is actually going and the track at the degrees and which it is tilted so this is one a, a nice feature and of course there is a time which shows the various utc time and it also shows the sunrise and the sunset time for your uh, position on the globe it exactly shows that according to based on the gps settings of the uh, digipad of the gps settings of the satellites so this is one very useful feature a very useful app built inside the launcher built inside the app which i'm going to show you how to install on the digipad and you can use this to assess the gps strength and in case in your digipad if you're not having a gps lock properly if you're not getting a gps signal properly you can install this and get to know the exact status and the situation and the detailed information about the gps of your device of your digipad now this is just one of the features of this app and uh, uh, there are many more features uh, just like that so continuing with the other apps there is a dedicated file manager other than the es file manager built into this uh, app and this launcher you can use this file manager also in order to access the files which are available in your digipad and that is the oi file manager so that is a dedicated file manager available and uh, after that what you can get is also a simple touch sensor actually which actually senses the touch control of your digipad so you can use this in order to get a feel or uh, get to know how the touch control of the digipad is working so that is one thing so the next thing which you need to know about this app is that there is a touch tester and a paint tester app built into the digipad so if you need to test the touch capacity of your digipad just go ahead and touch it so it says please touch me so if you touch it shows exactly how your uh, touch is being responded by the digipad touch screen and there is an x and y axis pointed also so this is one touch test and there is a paint tester as well so if you want to touch any if you want to see how the colors are displaying on the digipad screen and if it's displaying or not properly and some people for whom there is a water bubble coming up on the display screen or if the touch is not responding such people can use this app in order to make sure that your touch is working or not and to make out the condition of the digipad so these are some of the apps which are built inside this launcher and built inside this app which are useful for digipad and of course as a whole uh, this app increases the look and the feel of the digipad it enhances the look and feel of the digipad and gives it a retro smartphone kind of a look and takes away uh, the oh, the olden blue uh, block block looks which actually made the digipad screen look smaller and once you install this the digipad screen actually starts to look bigger than it actually is so this is one of the launchers available for digipad and you can install it on your digipad also now one thing which i need to remind you uh, before you go ahead and try to install this uh, launcher or this app for your digipad is that 
when you press the home button you are going to be always asked with an option to either go with the go launcher or the default launcher so make sure you do not click this use by default for this action button you should never click this because uh, sometimes what happens is very rarely the launcher gets turned into a portrait mode and if you want to convert it back to a landscape mode normally you will need the help of a default launcher so by chance if you have clicked this use by default for this action if you check this mark and after that you click on the go launcher button it will uh, go to the home button only via the go launcher and if by chance it turns into a portrait mode it will be very difficult to bring it back to a landscape mode unless you restart the app and uh, restart the digipad and the, it opens up with the default launcher so make sure you do not click this and make sure that always this window pops up and you always manually select the go launcher and if it turns into a portrait mode then you select the home launcher button it will go it will open up into the home launcher just like this your default launcher will always be there it won't go away and if you want to go launcher you just press the home button and it goes to the go launcher side so if you want to convert back to the default launcher just press the home button and click on the default launcher you get the default launcher which is available in the digipad and if you want the new look you just go ahead and click on the go launcher app and you get a fresh new look for your digipad so make sure you do not click on that uh, use this button always so just make sure it stays there and whenever you want you can shift between the two according to your convenience so now let's just go ahead and i'll show you how to download and install this app for your digipad so that you can also get to enjoy it on your screen so before you go on ahead make sure you have installed the firefox browser on your digipad and uh, hopefully if you have installed it that's a good thing if you don't know how to install firefox browser i'm going to leave a link in the description below you can go ahead and click that and get to know how to install the firefox manager firefox uh, file bro uh, firefox browser sorry so let me just go ahead and click the firefox browser and now i'm going to show you the address which you are going to which you have to type in order to download and install this app so this is the url address which you need to type on your firefox browser in order to download and install the app and that address is bit.ly slash number three small letter mq capital wt number three and a small letter e so once you type in this address just press and go ahead with the go button and wait for the google drive page to download from the internet so let's just wait till the drive opens up so as you can see the google drive page has opened up and make sure it's written that go launcher by travel tech is written on top of the screen so once that opens up make sure you hit that download button in the middle of the screen and wait for the download to begin Now it is going to ask you to complete action using you just click on the just once button and uh, let's wait for the download to start so just if you just scroll down uh, it is going to show you the status of the download currently it is at zero percent so the download will begin and once that completes we'll go ahead with the installation so as you can see the download has completed so well, i'll just go ahead and click on the button so it is going to ask to replace the application because i have already installed it so i'll just press on ok button so this is the installation window and once you go ahead and you can install this on your digipad so if you have seen the application has been installed and uh, if i press on the open button and uh, the application is going to open in a portrait mode when you open it for the first time so don't worry this is reversible it can be taken back to a landscape mode so when you install this app for the first time it is going to open in a portrait mode but you need not panic so you can still use the digipad in the portrait mode as well it's not like you cannot use it the portrait mode is also accessible and usable but of course it is not convenient for our eyes to use it in a portrait mode while sitting in the car so you, what you need to do in order to bring it to a, a landscape mode is press on the home button so once you press on the home button it is going to ask you which launcher to uh, select in order to get to the home screen so make sure you do not click on this use this by default option never click this just click on the default home launcher button and it is going to take you back to your default launcher of the digipad so once this is done just press on the home button again and now it is going to ask you the same thing just click on the go launcher now and if you are seeing on the screen it turns up into the landscape mode and now you can use it just the way which i showed you previously in the video now you have a very new screen a very fresh look for your digipad and there is a scroll down menu as well just like a regular smartphone just like a regular android tablet now you basically you have an android tablet appearance on your car and it looks really nice it looks really wonderful and you can start using this as well and if you want to go back to your previous settings just press on the home button and click on the 
launcher button so that you go ahead and get back to the previous settings or the previous status of the digipad of how it looked so if you want the fresh look just press the home button go to the go launcher and you have this option now once you access this you can go to the app drawer and of course you can go to the gps test option and get to see the entire gps details which i showed you just now you can access that along with using that uh, selection so this is the way guys this is the way you need to download and install the go launcher for digipad by travel tag so once you have downloaded and installed this there are a lot of other customization options as well you can change the wallpaper you can change the icons you can change the icon size you can change the text and you can make certain more changes just like how you are you are used to doing it in a android smartphone or an android tablet and make it uh, make your digipad a more personalized look give it a more personalized feel so that you feel very convenient and uh, nice while using the digipad so that's it guys i hope you like this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you already have just go ahead and download this for your digipad and make it happen hoping you have a good time installing and watching this on your digipad and have a very nice day